no matter the location. From OAKLA to LV, I'm a Raider. Let's get into this Raiders mailbag here. We got Job Johnny 378. Will the Raiders make the playoffs? If you guys think that the Raiders are going to make the playoffs, I want you to like this video right now. I would definitely appreciate that. Let's look at the current AFC playoff picture. The Raiders right now, they're the sixth seed, and they are the sixth seed over the Miami Dolphins due to their conference record. Now, you can also see the Browns at 5-3. and three. They have the tiebreaker there. Why? Because they beat the Browns head up. But now they also have to play the Dolphins in Week 16. They also play the Colts in Week 14. So this is a Raiders team that absolutely controls their own destiny. Their schedule gets a lot easier, and I'm hoping <clears throat> that the Raiders do ultimately end up making the playoffs. Now, if you guys are watching this live, I appreciate you. We do go live every single Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific. If you see this video on Friday, remember, if you want to be able to get your questions, if you want to be able to join the live shows, turn on your notifications. That way you don't miss any videos. Now, I know some people are like, Mitch, I have work. I can't join the live videos. It's all good. You can always ask me your questions on Instagram or on Twitter. I'm at MitchellRents365. If you are sub, though, hey, send that link right here, this one below. You see it? I'm pointing at it to five Raider fans. Let's continue to grow this show. I want to get to 63,000 subs by Sunday. All right, Josh Smith, appreciate the super chat. Four chalky heads on Booker getting more carries. Yeah, I think Devontae Booker has earned the right to get more carries. He had, what, eight, nine carries this past week, 68 yards, average 8.5. He's had an excellent burst. He also looks good in you know, being able to find the end zone. It has been one of the better signings by the Raiders this uh, offseason. Let's go to Power Raider. What's up, man? I will do your challenge once I feel a little bit better. Hey, Mitch, the Chiefs are on a bye week. <clears throat> Hope we stay healthy. I'm not even worried about the Broncos. We need to get ready for our rivals, defend our home. See, any single time you look past an NFL team, you can get bit in the butt. And, I mean, I'm, I'm not looking past anyone. The Raiders way too often last year, I thought, looked by teams. The Jets are the perfect example of that. No, you focus on the Broncos. You worry about the Chiefs later. You already beat them once, which is great. But you need to be able to focus on the Broncos because you got to take care of business. Now, this game right here, Denver is 3-5. and five. The Raiders are 5-3. and three. And, honestly, <clears throat> the Raiders right now, they're six-point favorites. That makes me a little bit nervous here. So what we have going on with BetUS is a special offer. Now, I want every single person to be able to bet on NFL games, and I want you to be able to bet on the Raiders too because it makes it more fun. It makes it more entertaining on Sunday. So all you got to do to be able to bet on the Raiders and cover the spread against the Broncos is go to chatsports.com slash Raiders. Use my promo code Raiders125. It's going to get you guys 125% deposit bonus. Now, for new BetUS users, because sometimes people, you know, Maybe you're a little bit nervous about making a bet, or maybe you don't know which bet to make. How about this? I got your back here. If the Raiders don't cover the spread versus the Broncos, so if the Raiders, I don't know, lose to the Broncos or don't beat them by six, I'm going to cover your bet up to $50. So all you got to do is just <clears throat> go to BetUS, put down the bet 50 bucks for them to cover the spread. If you have any questions about anything that I'm saying here, just email me, Raiders at chatsports.com for details. I'll walk you through the process on how to get started with BetUS. I'll give you my Venmo. That way, you know, if they don't cover, you can also get some money. How about this, though? The Raiders, they won last week. And uh, I had a lot of people tell me, Mitch, that was fun. I'm glad we ended up doing that. Let's keep the mojo going. If you bet on the Raiders last week and they won, how about this? I want you to bet on the Raiders again this week, and I'll cover your bet up to $25. So if you bet on the Raiders last week and you want to bet on them again, put $25 on the Raiders to beat the Broncos. And if they don't do it, I will cover your bet up to 25 bucks. If any of that is too complicated, if you lost me, if your wife flashed you during this process, it's all good. Email me, Raiders at Chat Sports, for the details. I got you guys covered. All right, y'all, predict the score. Denver Broncos going to Las Vegas <clears throat> up against the Raiders. So I'm curious on if there's going to be more Broncos fans there. I've talked to some of my friends in Vegas, and they're like, already Denver people are starting to come to this game. So let me know down in the comments section. Predict the score. Broncos versus the Raiders. All right, let's go to the next question here from Kristen J. Rivera. Future talk, how do we hold up Miami and Tua? Wow, we're already looking at week 16. The Tua hype is real. I don't know if it's so much to be worried about Tua. It, you got to be worried about that Dolphins defense. That, that Dolphins defense is legit. With Xavier Howard and Byron Jones, they're great. Their safeties, Eric Rowe, also playing pretty well. But they've been able to convert and force turnovers and convert those turnovers to points. Now, in terms of stopping Tua, just get in his face. That offensive line is not very good for Miami, but you can't continue to fumble the football and force, I don't know, basically kill yourself. The Raiders right now, one of the worst teams in terms of turnover differential. Force more, more turnovers, and I actually think it's make Tua beat you, not the defense. 
All right, let's go to Tuba22. Appreciate the super chat, my man. <clears throat> and if you guys want to get your questions on the show, you can use hashtag Raiders. Why can't we play action more? We hardly ever do it. With our run game, we should be uh, money. Either Gruden doesn't like it or doesn't think Carr is good at it. So what do you guys think? Should the Raiders run more play action? For me, I think what the Raiders are doing offensively right now is pretty solid. Now, can Carr use his legs more effectively? Yes, I think he's been able to do that. The other option or problem with that actually has been who are you going to actually look to get to? So the Raiders right now are trying to get the ball out quickly. Do I think that they could do it more? But the other problem is they've been so effective at a shotgun this year that they haven't really had to run out of eye formation as much. And when they have run out of eye formation, they've actually just handed the ball off more. But sure, I think anytime you can run a successful play-action game, it definitely helps. Let's go to Josh Smith with the most common name on YouTube here. Carr has picked up some key firsts with his feet. Yeah, he's got 10 first downs with his legs. Everyone talks about Derek's great 2016, 2015. In 2015, I believe he had five first downs with his legs, and in 2016, he had eight. He's already got 10 this year. He's looking pretty good. Let's go to McNasty707 here with an awesome super chat. What are some defensive big names available this upcoming offseason? Also, stay hydrated and throw in some chicken soup. Just looking out for you. Yeah, man, I mean, I've been, I've been killing Hall's cough drops. I got Vic's Vapor Rub here. I got all sorts of stuff going on trying to keep my throat healthy. But I appreciate you. In terms of some big-name players this offseason, you're probably not going to like my answer here, but until you figure out, <clears throat> until you get rid of Paul Gunther, I don't really know if it matters on defense because you went out and got Corey Littleton. That didn't work, and you've really struggled, I would say, getting big-name players in free agency because think about Tyrell Williams, that one never really worked out. LaMarcus Joyner, that one didn't really work out. The only name that I would say honestly has worked out is probably Nick Wachowski. Nelson Aguilar wasn't a big name, but that one worked. I mean, Malik Collins has been a fail. I don't think Jason Witten's been very good. So I don't really want to sit here and waste my time with big-name guys. Let's get rid of some of the p people making some of these decisions, and then ultimately – you know, focus on some other avenues, maybe the draft. Let's go to Carlos Mont's Street. <clears throat> Is Brian Edwards going to play this week? So he actually did play last week. He played literally only one snap. Now, another thing to note here before I went live on Tuesday, Rico Gafford, he got re-signed to the practice squad. I'm still a believer that when Brian is fully healthy, you're going to see him playing a little bit more. The other issue for Edwards has been, though, Nelson Aguilar has emerged. You can make the argument that he might be the number one wide receiver on this team right now. But once Brian is fully healthy, yes, he's going to get out there a little bit more and start playing. Now, I do have a special game going on this week, or at least I'm trying to get a game going here, um, <clears throat> where it's basically going to be you against me and against the rest of Raider Nation. So if you want to test your strength, if you want to test your might, all I want you to do right now, email me, Raiders at Chatsports.com for some details. Just use the subject line prop. I, uh, I don't know if it's 100% free yet. I haven't gotten all the details. That's why I don't have much information on it. But it's basically a tournament, a competition. If you want to challenge me, it's Raiders at Chatsports.com for details. Email subject line prop, though, okay? Bring it on. We had like 65 people do it like two weeks ago. All right, let's go to Leo Badass underscore Junior. Who's likely to make the Pro Bowl this season? Well, there's not going to be a Pro Bowl because of the coronavirus, but I would say if there was actually one, on defense, Kwiatkowski would have a shot. Mullen would have a shot. Uh, Max Crosby, because he's a bigger name, might have a shot. But realistically, the offensive line hasn't played as well. I would say if Colton Miller maybe, Rodney Hudson maybe at center, Derek Carr always has an opportunity, especially if he keeps playing the way he's been. But the Raiders don't really have a certain like standout guy. They've been very, very balanced on offense, like extremely balanced on offense. So speaking of the offense, who's going to score the first Raiders touchdown this upcoming week against the Denver Broncos? I asked you guys earlier on in the buildup for those of you watching live, but now I want to know again, who scores the Raiders' very first touchdown? Is it going to be Josh Jacobs? Maybe we see Devontae Booker. I do really want the Raiders to be able to pound the football in this one. Could it be Waller, Renfro, Nelly's been great. Go down in the comments section and let me know who's going to be the first Raider to score a touchdown. Peaches. Do you shave those peaches? Let me know. Go to Manscaped. All right. When we make the playoffs, do you have more confidence in the Raiders making a run playing on the road? We played better on the road this year. <clears throat> I mean, I'm always going to feel better if the Raiders are at home, and that's just the way it is, right? So, yes, have the Raiders played better on the road. I believe they're 4-1, and one, which is definitely very impressive. But I don't know, y'all. I'm always going to be more confident if a guy can – if the team's going to be at home. Sure, there's no road advantage really this year, but 
I want the Raiders at home. Let's go to Marcus. What up, Marcus? Appreciate the question. I hear Josh Jacobs was getting tips from Marcus Allen. What do you think about that? And what do you think of our chances of winning the division? So, yes, he has been working a little bit with Marcus Allen. And anytime you can work with a great player at a position, it, it doesn't hurt, right? And I think for Josh, he just wants to be able to learn from somebody. And also, one of the things that he was learning from Marcus Allen was how to handle his money and basically how to handle all his assets. Because if you remember, Josh... He never really had any of that growing up, so he was also looking for some advice in that regard. And what do I think in terms of the chance of winning the division? I mean, if you can take care of business against the Chiefs again, it definitely gives you a better opportunity. So right now, the AFC West standings, I mean, the Chiefs are 8-1. and one, The Raiders are 5-3. and three, So you still have to be able to catch up at least, you know, one game there no matter what. I just don't know if the Chiefs lose another two games. Now, if again, if the Raiders can beat them, sure. But Kansas City has shown if they want to be able to beat you, they're going to be able to beat you. Now, the Raiders have to be able to be ready to rock and roll. The thing that does scare me, though, is the simple fact that, honestly, I mean, they have two weeks to be able to pre prepare for the Raiders. The only team that's beating them, they're going to want to come out and uh, be ready to rock. Now, if I missed your guys' question, you can always hit me up on Instagram. I'm at MitchellRens365. So we always do these live shows every single Tuesday. And obviously, we got over 1,000 people watching right now. I don't have time to get to every single one of y'all's questions. So if you follow me on Instagram, I'm at MitchellRens365. It's down there below. I can also put the link for you guys in the live chat. It's also in the description. Hit me up. I'm always down to talk Raiders. That's what this show is all about. And after every single live show, I do. I check my DMs. I answer my questions because, you know, what kind of Raiders report host would I be? So, again, hit me up on Instagram at MitchellRens365.